Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. The ability to save the dimensional project data is an important part of this software because it uh, saves us uh, having to re-enter the uh, data each time we want to analyze the same project. Uh, there are several uh, situations throughout the software where we have the facility to save the data. It doesn't matter where we do it, the result's exactly the same. For example, on the current data screen, we have a Save Project button the front fork screen, likewise the save project button. If we go into the rear suspension screen we have a save project button here. Let's start a new project and see how we use this feature. Okay, let's pick uh, this particular design of rear suspension. Now in reality we'd probably enter our own data here but just to, and, and also on the front fork screen um, but to save time let's assume that we've actually entered in the data we want and we want to save the project. Uh, we, by default we've got a, a project name here, tutorial video. So we go to save the project. That project name is carried across here. We can change it at this stage if we want to. And here we can add in some case notes. So I suggest that you add in case notes that uniquely identify this particular setup for this project because when you come back in a couple of months time it makes it much easier uh, when you're looking through a number of projects to select the one that you want. Uh, so let's put in here uh, some case notes for this. We'll, we'll call it test number one, for example. Okay, we're offered a default file name of tutorial video in the default directory for saving the data. You can choose a different directory if you have a need to. Click on save and then the data is entered into a table which can contain up to 10 different cases of this same basic layout. When we reload this file then it's no longer a new project by definition because we've saved it, it's, it's an old project. If we then make some changes to the data on the rear suspension screen or front fork screen for example then when we come to save it we have the option to save it as an additional case so let's close this screen down and make some modifications on here let's for instance just change the spring rate to um, to 150 and uh, the, 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 the preload to 10 okay so we can identify this from the uh, previous case we've saved now let's save that project and we have the choice we can add it to the current project file or we can start a new file we click yes if we want to use the current project so let's do that now it advises us to write some case notes so that we can identify it later so I'll put in here that this is test 2 and I'll put 150 spring okay now we double click it tells us here we double click on a column that we want to um, save that case to so uh, uh, case 2 is empty I'll double click on this column and that's been saved okay now we've uh, sa saved a project and now we can load it and we've got uh, several uh, different locations within the software where we can do that just as in the saving case we've got load project buttons in the current data screen, the front forks and the rear suspension uh, but also on the mouse of data screen let's use this one initially again all of the buttons do the same, perform the same function so we go here we click on the button to get the project file the example that we saved in the tutorial for saving the video is called tutorial video so we can select that remember we would saved two different cases the difference between them was the spring rate 
and the preload and we can see here our first case we had 140 for the spring rate which we changed to 150 for the second case and with the preload we changed that from initial value of 5 to a value of 10. If we click in either of these columns the case notes for that particular case will appear above here we see this was the one for the spring so we can uh, and of course we've got no data here so we have no case notes um, when, when we've selected whichever case we want to uh, load for further analysis or modification uh, we just double click anywhere in that column let's assume that we want to load the case where we had uh, increased the spring rate to 150 okay so I double click here and that's loaded that project in throughout the uh, software uh, for instance let's say we want to look at the rear suspension part of that we click on the rear suspension button now we go to current project because uh, we've already loaded the project we don't want to select a new one from here so click on current project and we can see that that is the one that we've loaded in uh, we got access to the load project button here also so we can change uh, if we decide that this wasn't the one we wanted to look at after all uh, we can elect to load a project initially we're given the file selection screen again because uh, we may want to load a totally different project I in this case uh, the one that we previously loaded is still uh, is still the current one so if we cancel this now uh, let's double click in this one and we'll see that we've now loaded the other case that's all there is to loading data well that's it for now uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel Motor Chassis uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfoll.com Thanks for watching.